Welcome back, brothers and sisters. I am Braden. This is Langley Outdoors Academy, the place where we not only talk about what's going on in the gun world, but also how we're going to fix it together. And what I'm about to show you is going to blow your mind because the insanity of 2024, which by the way is a hell of a drug, is only getting more insane. Because during the actual testimony of the head of the Secret Service, ahead of Congress, which is going on right now as of the filming of this video, you have Democrats screaming at her because she will not answer their set-up questions around gun control, and she's a Biden appointee. My brain is, I can't take much more of this, but luckily we're going to get through it together. Everything will be linked in the description box below. I can't wait to hear what you guys think. And of course, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and turn the notification bell on. And share this out to everybody because the Democrats are making a fool of themselves on this. And I can't wait to hear what you guys think right down there. Now, as you are hitting that subscribe button like a dutiful Second Amendment prescription of freedom requires... Don't let this guy interrupt it. This is the YouTube algo. And every time that I put this guy up and talk about him, we have around a 200% increase on subscribers. I don't think that's because magically 200% more are going, I, just, I, I do want to subscribe. It might be something to do with the fact that they're realizing that they have been had by this fiend. Let's make sure that subscription is not turned off. And as we get into this, enjoy every second of this because I've got a three minute clip that we are about to hit. This right here. You can't make this stuff up. This is happening as we're discussing and filming right now. This is happening in the halls of Congress, and you're about to see a Democrat talking to the head of security, or excuse me, head of the Secret Service, and she will not give him his raw meat answers on gun control, and he gets pissed. Watch this. We're going to go in and out, pause, and continue. Director Cheadle, the ubiquity of weapons, guns in America, especially assault weapons or semi automatic weapons. That's helped your job and the mission of your agencies, right? It's it's made it less complicated. Isn't that true? I'm sorry. I'm not understanding your question. Real simple. More guns, especially dangerous ones, have made your job protecting people easier. Is that not right? I think at, uh, from everything... Direct the cheetah. This is simple English. More guns... Are, do they make your job more complicated or less complicated in protecting these 36 clients and visiting heads of state and heads of government that come to Washington? I think the Secret Service needs to take into account... I didn't ask that. that they're in I'm, I'm sorry. I asked a simple question, which deserves a simple answer. All right, I'm going to pause it for a second, and then we'll get back to it. This guy is a gun-controlling Democrat. He's asking the Democrat appointed head of the Secret Service, a softball set up question around, doesn't gun control work well? She won't answer it, and he's getting testy. He's interrupting her answer because all he wants her to say is yes so they can go forward on the campaign trail and say, look, Kamala Harris, we did good, like me, even though you're not the nominee and we'll see what happens, but hey, you never know. But the whole point here is, this guy is interrupting his own kind, the Democrats, the gun controllers, the bureaucratic state, because they will not give him an easy, quick, simple answer. It only gets worse. Let's keep going. This is, this is insane. Happening in Congress right now. The ubiquity of guns, dangerous weapons in America, like AR-15s, has that made your job, that is to say the mission of the Secret Service, easier or more difficult? I think the threat environment for protecting our uh, Secret Service uh, protectees is always difficult, and that's dynamic, and it's always evolving. We stipulate it's always difficult. I Again, this is a simple one. Do, does the ubiquity of guns make your job easier or more difficult today? I understand the Second Amendment rights of individuals. I didn't ask that question. I'm not questioning the Second Amendment. I'm asking a simple analysis, Director Cheadle. And I can tell you, you're not making my job easier in terms of assessing your qualification for continuing on as director. Oh, how about a squeaky threat from a sniveling little weasel? He's not getting the gun control he wants in the Congress to get the clip so that they can go out and attack the Republicans on gun rights and gun control and gun safety. So he's now threatening her directly. I want you to make crystal clear of what's happening. He just said, you're not answering the question. He was interrupting her. This is a democratically appointed head of, social, of Secret Service by Biden himself. 
and they want blood. They want to twist the Trump assassination all around gun control. She's not giving it to him, so now he resorts to getting squeaky like a little college girl, and then he's going to threaten her. That's what you just saw. You're making it difficult for me to continue to support you because you won't give me my political pawn answer. Let's keep going because, guys, the knives are so sharp in D.C. right now, and that guy got real squeaky. All right, let's keep going. Please answer the question. You're the head of the Secret Service. You're speaking on behalf of 8,000 members who put their lives on the line. We just had a failure by your own admission. Do guns make your job easier or harder? I think the job of the Secret Service is difficult on every day, and we need to make sure that we are mitigating all threats, whether that be That weapons, isn't my question. Personnel. That is not my question, and now I think you're evading the answer which is not a hard one. I am sorry that you feel that way, sir. I'm sorry you feel that way. All right, she may be completely incompetent. She may, something nefarious may be going on. The Trump assassination attempt is an awful thing that makes her entire organization look god awful. But for what it's worth, watching her stand up to this sniveling little weasel who gets real squeaky and angry and then starts threatening her, that's worth it. So again, he's not questioning the second amendment. He's questioning if more gun control makes her job easier. You see the difference? I'm not saying a word about the Second Amendment and my support thereof, but I am saying a word about potentially is it easier if we have more gun control to make your job easier, but I didn't say anything about the Second Amendment. This is the game that they play, but you guys see right through it. She's not taking it, and I love the fact that she's not because they're getting real pissed. All right, let's continue. I got a little bit more. How else could I feel, Director Cheadle, when you're clearly avoiding a direct answer to a very simple declarative question? I'm we almost lost a presidential candidate the other day. A 20-year-old had access to his father's AR-15 and got on top of a roof within 500 yards or feet of the podium. And I'm asking you, did the availability of that AR-15, which is replicated all across America, make your job harder or easier, and you're not willing to answer that question? And you think, and, and you wonder why we might have a lack of confidence in your continued ability to direct this agency? See that? Now he's going back into the fact that ARs exist, the fact that there's so many that it made availability the problem. This guy is attempting to do something for gun control that is falling flat on its face. He's doing it very, very poorly. But then he goes back to threatening her. Remember, this is Democrat on Democrat violence. Like, th this is not anything other than that. This guy, by the way, a side note, can we get testosterone in politics again? Because, like, this this guy with his squeaky little whiny, weaselly voice, I mean, like, this is not a representation, I hope to God, of his district. I mean, I'll be honest. I think he's from California, so it might be. But <laughs> just the, I'm sorry, you feel that way. That's such a great FU line. But let's continue. One last piece. I understand your question, and that's the environment. Well, if you understand my question, why not answer it? Because it's the environment that the Secret Service works in every day. That, that doesn't tell me anything. That's the, that's the environment we work in. I had, an, I had an attack on my office a year ago. I know a little bit about violence, too. He came to kill me. When he couldn't, he beat one of my staffers eight times with a baseball bat on the head. We live with the threat of violence. But a simple answer from the director of the Secret Service would be helpful. And I'm sorry you've chosen to... Again, okay, so I'm going to go back to the big screen here real quick. Understand what we're looking at here. You've got the Democrats who are turning the attempted assassination of President Trump into a gun control argument. And they're trying to ask the Secret Service director gotcha questions around gun control that have nothing to do at all with the failure of the Secret Service to protect the president. This is what you're seeing here. That's why I'm going to continue to cover this, because every single one of them is going to line up to try to get their little stab in for gun control. And it seems like they're all going to fail, but make sure you got that subscription on. Notification bell active because we have got so much more stuff. And we haven't even touched on the Kamala Harris versus Trump versus who it is, the DNC. We got a lot of work to do. I'll see you on the next one.